It's the king, King J, back with another video. Listen, today I want to talk about this character, Shaheen. Like a lot of character, a lot of people that play this character, they enjoy playing him in this game over Tekken 7. He is slept on by a lot of players that play Tekken 8. This character is really, really good. And I want to show you why today. So, Shaheen, like, his main game plan is obviously the crouching forward stuff. So, like, you know, acting like you're going to do the slide and then doing hot kick, which is up for four, or actually doing the slide, right? But in this game, the inputs are so lenient. So, I could do down forward, down, down forward. If let me do it now, like this. And it would be okay. It's a lot harder to do it in previous games, like Slide. Like, it's been in Tekken 7, Slide has been a bit harder. But, you know, characters like Law and Lee, they also do Slide. And it's it's pretty difficult if you don't know and you're new to fighting games. But yeah, you could do down, 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 forward. Look at how long it took me to do that, look. I can input down, down, forward. So this is something that is new in Tekken 8. Like, it's super lenient for doing Slide. Like, you, it's... There's a bit of timing there. Yeah, there's a bit of timing. There's a bit of timing that you have to get used to. But you can you can literally take a bit of time. But I feel like I'm doing it a bit long. There we go. There we go. So yeah, it's more lenient than it is in Tekken 7. But yeah, that's his game plan. It's obviously to do this and then do the slide. So that's your mix up. And then obviously with the slide, you get the... Oh, sorry. You get this guaranteed as well, right? Obviously, he has a bunch of other stuff and tools. You know, down forward one is is plus five on hit, and it's minus one on block. So, to do standing block, but then he also has back three, which is plus three and force crouch. So, both of these moves are really good. Like, you know, for the seeing what your opponent could do. He's got back one as well, which is his heat engager. But that's zero on block and force crouch. You know, so he has a bunch of stuff. Side step two, which is zero on block. And stuff like that as well. And then they has he, he has this new move where you hold down and then press up and two. Now, this is coming from 2D fighting games. It's, it's called a charge motion. So usually you you do this, you press down and then you press up and then you and you press a button together. Commonly known for like characters like Guy on Street Fighter 6 or Street Fighter series in general. That does Sonic Boom and Flash Kick. Now, you can actually buffer this move behind stuff. So I'm gonna put my my display up so you can see. So command history, right? So I'm gonna buffer it behind back one. As you can see. When I've pressed back one, I, you can see that I'm pressing down straight away, and then I've done this. You can then do it with back three. You do it with down three. Down forward four. Four one. And again, like I said, this move here, against the wall, plus 14. Get out in the open, plus two. It becomes very toxic and dangerous when he gets into heat so let me just show you something when he gets into heat standing so let's say for example now what we what we trying to do here well so we'll do back one i'm holding down as you can see oh so i've already done guard break so look, let's do it again so i wasn't quick on doing it this time so if you're not quick and you want to do the guard break and you want something, you could do four, two, three, right? So let's do this. Four, two, one, there we go. And this is, this deletes recoverable health. So the gray health, it deletes it. If you do forward, back, two, straight away. Reason why it's good, um, sorry, the reason why this move is so crazy is because if you do this, you're plus 13. To do, uh, obviously, forward back two, it's 13 frames, right? And you get that much damage. But what's crazy about this is that, obviously, when you get into your heat engager and you're charging up, you could do so many moves. People could be like, oh, he's gonna duck, right? You could do down back two, one. 
you want to be safe, you could just do down forward four as a poke, right? Or down forward four one. So as you can see, down forward four one, down forward four one is a natural combo, right? So I could do this to make you stop ducking. But while I'm doing this, I could be charging. So this move, uh, like I said, <laughs> I don't know, man. I think this move is ridiculous. It's actually very ridiculous. And if, again, if you want to stop people from ducking, you can do stuff like back, back one, up kick, all of these type of moves. And then, you know, if you want people to start ducking, you start doing sidestep, sidestep, up kick. You know, there's so much tools that he has. You know, for low stuff, I'll be looking at down, down three, forward, uh, down three, down forward. Sorry, so you could go into the, the stance, and then you can use like side step two, down four. These will be your low attacks. For mids, down forward four one, down forward one, down forward two, and I believe when it comes to down forward two, this is this is a launcher, right? So and it's safe. So you you know. He's got down for two. What's the other stuff that he has? So he has also, yeah, mid down, down for four one. Like I said, this is safe on block, anyways. So you're only minus nine. Obviously, if you do the extension, you're like minus thirteen, right? It's not. You're not gonna do. The, you just, you just gonna poke them. Look, twenty three damage. You just lose your turn. That's about it. Like, I just don't know why people are not playing this character like that. Down two is pretty good as well. Minus six, it's not he's not punishable. Up up uh up one or up forward. I think you could do up forward as well, motion. I think you could do up back, up forward, and up. Yeah, up. There you go. Plus one. You could also cancel it. So I could also cancel it and then try to do slide. I could let me see if I could do that. I'm gonna try to see if I updated it too early. There we go. You could do that into grab if you think people are going to press buttons as well. You, so you can counter hit them. Obviously, he's power crush, safe, high, super quick, 16 frames. Like, yeah, I don't. I really don't know why people are not playing this character. And even as well, you, even if you want to catch people, not press it. Like maybe pressing, you can. This can be delayed a tad bit. So. Yeah, I think people should be playing this character, man. Really, really good character. And he has... Oh, my gosh. How did I forget? So, he also has two heat smashes. So, he has the standing one. And then you get a mix-up afterwards. Oh, he has the low one. Which does that. And that is crazy. He has two. So, even then... Like, we didn't even talk about his stance. From what I remember, it's called Stealth Stance, but let me get the correct name for you. Just so that I'm not in the wrong. I feel like I have got... I think it is Stealth. Stealth Step, sorry. Stealth Step. Okay. So with this stance, he also has this move here, which is a Heat Engager, and it's a mid. So this will stop you from ducking. Like, his stance, the Stealth Step stance is really good because you got this low or you got this. It's actually plus. Then you could do slide. <laughs> what? He has the homing as well, which is outside of um, stealth stance. But it's just, yeah, he just has that like, his character is ridiculous. Like plus two, and then I've got option to slide. What? Because it's it, it, you're still in crouch, right? Look, I'm still in crouch. Like you don't even have to be. In crouch, but you, you you can stay in crouch, and then you got the slide, or you could do hot kick again. It's a mix up, so I really think they made this character really good. I think he's a very very strong character. The combos are pretty good as well. So like going for combos, what I remember using like a bit of this character in Dabbling. This might not be optimal. No, that's definitely not. Good. Is the boy is it again? It is. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. And then you, I couldn't move for some reason. Right, let me drag one more time. Uh, 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 uh. 
And then you could either do 4 1 into back 4, or you could do down forward 1 into back 4, which is your wall combo. But yeah, this, this character is very interesting. Man. Could be, let me see if I could do down 2. Push, yeah, throw some there. Into that. But yeah, this. Like I said, people need to start playing this character, man. This character is good. Very, very strong. Oh, and back four. Knocking down the normal hit, and you get back four straight away. <laughs> what? I don't think it does anything I can hit from what I mean. No. 43 damage. So yeah, I've been enjoying this, like, you know, playing this character for a bit. So like if I was, if they come, if you hit them on the wall low, down forward one, back four. But yeah, I've been enjoying playing this character. But I'm just saying to you lot, if there's people that, if you're struggling to main a character and you're like, oh, I need to play a character. This, is, this character here is very good. Very good. And even like his heat dash stuff as well. Oh, but we'll get into that another day because like I don't want to make this video too long. But yeah, you can definitely do stuff for this character. So let's say for example, fire down heat. Uh, 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 uh. So you can do something like that or some or something else. But yeah, just remember this character is going under the radar. If you need a character and you've got a character crisis, this character here, very, 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 very strong. Very strong, in my opinion. You could even do that as well if you think people are going to duck. Yeah, it's too, it's too many stuff that he's got. And I think he's way better than how he is. In Tekken 7, he was bland. Tekken 8, amazing character. All right, it's been your boy King J. Hope you lot enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe because there will be more videos like this where I'm talking about characters that are not being used as much. And yeah, we'll be on to the next video. Take it easy, everyone. Peace. Remember to subscribe.